Hello everyone, I'm Mrs Akers. In this next set of sessions we're going to learn all about the two times table. We're going to learn it so well because we're going to do it in all sorts of different ways and we're going to do lots of counting in groups of two and lots of skip counting. So let's get started. Our first practice for today, are you ready? Let's go. We're going to start at zero and skip count. Let's go. Zero. Two. Four, six, eight. What comes next? You got it. Ten and twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. What did you notice? Did you spot it? Did you see we counted further than 20? Let me get my mouse here to show you. We got to 20 here and then we counted another group of two and another group of two. We started at 20 and counted 20, 22, 24. Great job. How are you counting backwards? OK, this time we're going to start at 24 and we're going to count backwards in groups of two till we get to zero. OK, let's start, skip counting and join in with me and see if you can beat me as well. 24, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. You got quicker at the end, didn't you? You are getting good at skip counting. OK, we're going to skip count again, but this time we're going to use this special chart. This is a Gatengo chart. Um, and it's another way that we can use to help us skip count. So I'm going to start at zero and then we're going to count all the way up to 24 again. Let's go. Zero. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. You're getting so good. Well done. This time, uh, number block two wants to help and join us. Um, he's actually a group of two. He's made of two number one number blocks and he's going to help us count our groups of two. So let's have another practice here. Here's another way. Let's go. Zero groups of two is zero. One group of two is two. Two groups of two is four. Three groups of two is six. Four groups of two are eight. Five groups of two are ten. You join it in with me. It's like a little song, isn't it? We're up to six. Let's go. Six groups of two are twelve. Seven groups of two are fourteen. Eight groups of two are sixteen. And nine groups of two are eighteen. Ten groups of two are 20. 11 groups of 2 are 22. 12 groups of 2 are 24. OK, can you see the numbers on the number line at the bottom? Did that help you a bit? OK, we're going to look at the number line now and we're going to skip count just the numbers in twos. Let's go. Starting at 0. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 
10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Did you keep up? You're getting better. You're getting quicker. We've been on lots of walks in our house and in our hallway I've got lots of pairs of shoes. Um, the shoes are in groups of two. They're in pairs of shoes. Will you help me count our shoes as we go? And as we do, we're going to use our fingers to show how many groups we're counting. So I'm going to say this time, one two is two, two twos are four, three twos are six. And when you get the hang of it, join in with me. We're going to start at zero. So show me a zero and we're going to start on this side. Here we go. Zero twos is zero. One two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. Six twos are twelve. Seven twos are fourteen. You've got it. Eight twos are sixteen. Nine twos are eighteen. Ten twos are twenty. Stop there a moment. Once we've got there, we've used up all our fingers. So now we have to close our fingers down and get ready to show the next group of two and the next group of two. So we're going to show in a second 11 twos and 12 twos. So put your fingers down, put your 10 down. Here we go. 11 twos are 22, 12 twos are 24. Great skip counting. Well done. Let's see if we can just count it quickly then. Let's skip counting twos as we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Twenty-four shoes and I had ten and two more. I had twelve pairs of shoes. Excellent job. Now we've got some 2p coins and we're going to count our groups of two one pennies within the 2p coins. We're going to use our fingers again, but this time we're going to do them silently. So we're just going to show our fingers as we skip counting twos to count the two p's to count the groups of two pennies. OK, let's go. We're going to start at zero. Zero. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Can you see there's five 2p coins there? And we've got five fingers up to show there's five 2p coins. And we're up to counting to ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's move on to six twos. Here we go. Are you ready? Twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20. Remember, we're going to have to put our hands down again. You ready? 22, 24. We've got 24 pence. We've got 12 2p coins. 12 twos are 24. 12 2ps are 24 pence. We're doing lots and lots of practice today for the getting ready for this two times table and knowing it really, really well. Um, now we're going to practice our skip counting, but starting from any number. We might not be starting at zero and we might be counting forwards or we might be counting backwards. And we could be counting anything in twos as long as it's in a group of two. It might be a group of two blocks. It might be two wheels on a bicycle. It might be two hedgehogs together. We might be counting shoes in twos or two peas. Could be counting anything in twos. So here we are. And if we look on this number line, we've already got up to 10. So it's already done. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. So what comes next? Are you ready? What comes next? 12, you're right. And 14. What's after that? 16. Excellent. And then? 18, 20, what comes after 20, do you remember? 22, 
and 24. You're getting really, really good at this. Okay, you ready? Where are we going to start next? Oh, this time we're counting backwards. So we've already counted backwards from 24 to 14. What's going to come next? What's the next group of two going to be? What was the group of two before 14? You ready? 16, 14, 12. You've got it. Next, 10. You've got it. 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. You get quicker there, don't you? I think those ones are easier for you. You're getting so good, though. Next, what have we got? Oh, what have we got here? Is this counting forwards or counting backwards? I think you're right. Yeah, we're counting forwards, aren't we? And they've already got from zero all the way up to 14 in skip counting in twos. So what comes next? You got it. That's right. 16 and 18 and 20 and another two. 22 and another two. 24. Good job. Oh, what have we got here? Ooh. Oh, are they going forwards or backwards? I think they're starting at 24 here and they're finishing at six. So are they going forwards or backwards? Yep, yeah, we're going to count backwards again. But we're going to start at 24 and finish at six. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. 24, 22, 20, 18, 16, you've got this, 14, 12, 10, 8, and we're landing on 6. You've got this. Okay, your practice activity today. You might want to go and get some Lego people or some little models and practice your counting in twos. I've got mine here and I've put them in rows of two. Can you see that as well? <laughs> you might want to go and count the shoes in your hall and put them into groups of two and pairs of shoes and count them. Maybe go and get some money. Um, borrow some money or go and raid your piggy bank and see if you've got some two peas and see how many two peas you can count. Um, you might want to count some toys, you might have some blocks, you might want to go and get some socks. I've been and got some of mine here. These are really good for helping you count in twos and it'd be really good if you could bring some with you for next time. I've got a two here I and mean, what you have to do is match them and to make a group of two, put them together and turn the tops over and you get a group of two. So you get another two, you get two matching ones, Oops, was this matching? Oh no, what's happened there? So I've got a stripy one and a spotty one. That doesn't match. Let's try again. Try again. Oh, here we go. Two spotty ones. No, that's not two spotty ones. Let's try again. <laughs> here we go. There's two spotty ones. And put the tops together. Fold them over. And I've made another group of two. So I've got one group of two two groups of two and if you could bring some socks with you for next time that would be really helpful but for now go off see how many things you can put into groups of two and practice your skip counting in twos you might just go two four six eight ten twelve and use your fingers to count the groups like we practiced you might go one two is two two twos are four three twos are six four twos are eight or you might say two groups of one, two groups of two is four, three groups of two is six, four groups of two are eight. You choose, but practice away and get ready for next session. Remember to bring yourself some pairs of socks and also can you bring a piece of paper or two and a pair of scissors? And you'll have needed to cut these pieces of paper up into some strips. So just cut it all the way to the end and see if you could get yourself 10 strips of paper would be really helpful to start the next session. 
Thanks for being with us today. Bye.